Well, hello, folks, and welcome back to Ellen. I just noticed I'm about ready to die here from stamina loss and health depletion, so yeah, it's time. we're going to start this video with a quick little nap. We lay down on the hard stones at Durfee and barely get any rest at all. Let's collect that. I think we're going to get out of here. Danger level 12. Forget it. Hellhounds, no. Hellhounds are one of the worst enemies in the game, especially one of the worst enemies you can run across early on. Their fire attacks will light you up and burn up all of your items. Uh, and if you're really unlucky, they'll destroy any gear you have that isn't fireproof. They'll destroy your containers that aren't fireproof and destroy all of the items inside it. I, I absolutely hate the fire attacks and ice attacks in this game. I've probably already complained about them in this series, despite the fact we haven't seen them. I think they're way too brutal early on. There's ways to counter it, but we don't really we don't have anything right now. And I don't feel like losing a whole bunch of my gear, so we're gonna- Anytime we see hellhounds, or candle monsters, or red bishops that cast fire, I'm gonna really consider if I should just run away or not. Let's see. They need us to kill some monsters at their house. Let's do it. Who's harassing this nice person? Goblins and rabbits and a stray puppy with rabies. Eyes and goats. Hell yeah. Come on. Anybody else? Even the eye came after me this time. I didn't have to hunt him down. There's another one. Two eyes on one map. Somebody went blind. Check. I don't think I've ever found a treasure chest on a quest map. Loidal gains a bit of experience. I don't think I've ever found a treasure chest on a map for a quest like that. But I'm always... I'm gonna look. My child suddenly visited. I need an empty bottle. I don't have any mutations I need to get rid of, do I? No, not yet. Um, restore body, minor wound, paralysis. Unfortunately, I, if I empty this, if I drink this, I don't think I get an empty bottle. So, no, nah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that quest. I'm not entirely sure how to make an empty bottle. Orcs and crabs. Hungry. I think we're going to go fight those crabs right there. Put all my meat in here. Goblin. Goblin's not a humanoid, I don't think. So put my hearts in here. So those are, those are valuable, man. Can't let those rot. Marbled meat of rabbit. Okay, let's go talk to this hermit crab. Give me your evacuation scroll or your life is forfeit. Uh, I'm not giving you all six of my scrolls, so try me. One, two, three, four. Why am I a pervert? Who are you calling a pervert? Maybe they were talking to this duck. So we'll take out the public performer first, and then we're going to have fun here. Just start deleting crabs. Yeah. You didn't know I was so powerful in the realm of magic, did you, Crab? Before you demanded... Demanded my stuff. Poison arrow level 2. Hmm. Do we want to go to the beach? Gather some more wood? Get some more Palulu wood? The orcs are going to be scary. I, I'll probably fight them. That might actually get me killed. There's a puddle of water there. For a second, I was confused as to what it actually was. Huh. Okay, I got to make sure I stay in the shallow water. It's the lighter colored ground. Why can't I move? Okay. Say, so I'm terrified that I'm going to die out here like I did last time when I entered water. So I wasn't paying attention. Is this whole map? This whole map's like 50% water. Okay, let's take let's test the orcs here. Give me corpse of goblin. No. 
I'm, I'm not going to return the goblin corpse to you. There's only four of you that I can see. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. This could turn south fairly quick. Let's see. Okay. So I, ha I have it set to end auto combat as soon as anything dies. Friend or foe. Good lord, what a cluster. Okay. Sugars, I am... I don't have a healing wand. You know what? You're tough, right? You can handle it. If I have to, I'll try and jump up there and push her out of the way. Look at all these hearts. We're rich now. We're rich in heart. Now we're going to be rich in Palulu wood. And Palulu fruit. Banana tree. I wish I... Say, do these... I don't think they drop seeds. I'm not sure I've ever seen banana uh, tree seeds. I would be very tempted to have a banana tree farm. Take that. Collect all the needles I can while I'm here. I'm not entirely sure what they're used in. Oh, look at this. A follower of Manny the Machine being hung and killed by fanatics of Kizuami of Trickery. So I think that you can try and save these people. The time has come for us humans to prosper. Is that right? Is that why you're doing this? Who the hell do you think we are? Oh, a bunch of dumb people with their stupid faces. Are you, are you guys talking about yourself? I like traveling. I've been to so many places. Lumiest is the famous city of our... I don't know where that city is. See, I've explored the map a little bit on my main character, but I never found Lumiest. Somebody carved this. A Palulu tree carved by Dr. Moon Runes. Okay, what do we got here? An altar of void. I feel like worshipping the god of void would just be depressing all around. Is, is, isn't that like the god of nihilism almost? Everything returns to the void. You may as well enjoy every fleeting moment and do whatever you want. Live as nihilistically as possible because when it's when it's dead, it's all black, back to blackness and nothing. I would imagine that's what their religion would be like. I haven't looked into all of the gods in this game. I say there's probably one that would be way better for me than the one I chose, the Goddess of Healing. But we're not going to stress about it. Excuse me. Take that. How many hearts? Okay, good. They're all going straight into my chest. I just had to make sure. I can't believe that these maps... I'm getting robbed on these map generations with so much water. Nope, 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 nope. Say so that looked like it was over my head. Shadow, bark face, fluffy butt. What? Money and currency are critical to our society. Shadow, bark face, fluffy butt. That is... That's hilarious. I've never seen a named dog like that before. We all take turns picking on the crab that was stuck. It was stuck in the riptide there. Unable to properly pursue us. Well, how did I not see you? I'm going blind. I need my sunglasses if we're going to be on the beach. It's the opposite of snow blindness. It's sand blindness. So what we got? An armor shrine. I will level up my shield. Why not? PV plus five. Nice. So we've got iron ore. I don't... I'm not going to collect yet. I can't anyways. I can't even collect copper ore. I need to really level my skills. Like, a basalt pickaxe should be able to harvest uh, copper very soon for me. I probably just need to go learn mining somewhere. 
Like what? What is my mining? So hard for me to find anything in here. Crafting skills. Um, I guess, yeah, okay, four. I'm gonna say, I know I've seen it level up a couple times while in dungeons and stuff. Down to two stamina, one stamina. Time to head back. We're overweight, working on our, our strength and our weightlifting ability. We're tired. Before I sleep. Say so we'll do a round. Someone even threw a bag of trash on top of the chest. How lazy are you people? I've got to get my garbage sign set up. They're even throwing it on the farms. That's just disgusting. Say the trash leaking its toxic chemicals into the fertile soil so that the plants absorb it. You end up eating eating an appy nut that's been fed by toxic waste. So figure a poutite. That's a different one than this. This is a Beth poutite. We're going to place them on top of each other. Public performer. I'm just going to place a few statues around. Don't really have a need for tourism yet. Berries, I need that. Coin, I need that. Cacti, go in there. I need to eat that. That is five level 5 charisma. Palulus, straw shoes, and bananas. I've got a lot of food now. Uh, let's sleep. I need to craft a better bed. This only fills my stamina up halfway. Oh yeah, I got. Uh, I do have a feet point here. Let's put that into Master Sleeper. Because I am losing, in my opinion, a lot of time by not getting full stamina out of that. When I sleep. I should be able to fill it up. With just like... I don't know, one one nap a day. So roasted fruit, cook all that. Fruit and things, I believe you can turn cactus into some type of wine. I don't think every single fruit that you find can be turned into wine or booze. Look at all this delicious food. Okay. Clear this out, sell you, sell you, go plant my berries. So I'll try and keep all of my plants somewhat together. Now are you, are you actually harvesting anything? I feel like there should be appy nuts or berries in a box somewhere. They shouldn't be eating all my food yet. Cotton in there. Huh. Like, your companions and your townsfolk will eat, but... They don't have to. Well. Let's go ahead and rest again. Six hearts, 150. Does anyone know what you can do with those hearts? Because is there some recipe that actually puts them to use? Because as far as I know, you can't even put them up for offer at one of your god's altars or anything. Corpses, yes. Other items, yes, but I don't think I've ever seen hearts or anything like that be accepted. Maybe there's some gods that do accept it. 
an evil one. Okay, I'm gonna tear these down. Tomatoes do not regrow, as far as I know. So they're just taking up space. Wait a second, harvest. I'm gonna harvest it with a sickle. I get two seeds from that, okay. I say, if you harvest with a sickle, you do not get fruit, but you get seeds. So, 66 fertility, electricity is in short supply. Taxes are due in four days. We can hire two more residents. Loidal is supervising, and when he's bored and he doesn't want to supervise anymore, he'll garden. If the dog wasn't in my party, he would give us a little bit extra power and have a small chance every day, 1% chance, I think, of producing a treasure map. I still haven't actually completed a treasure map. The whole ground shakes again. Like, does it just shake every four hours, every five hours, every six hours? What, What is the time frame? We have two fishers. If we wanted to get fish every day, which I don't, I'm going to focus primarily on gardeners. This is going to be a, f a little farming villa. And if I can ever get any animals to join up. Tell me what you like, duck. I will bring it to you. Do you want a top hat? Do you want some vomit? Speak to me. I even took the trait so that I could talk to you. And speaking of traits, I have another feat point. So what can we do? Scavenger is nice. Slightly higher item quality at gathering spots. And a low chance to obtain materials when dismantling traps. Party members also pray with you. It's tempting. I don't really want to learn how to taunt yet. I'm perfectly fine with my companions getting their butts kicked. We could have one more ally with us. Our prayer weakens the power of cursed whisperings. I, I don't think that this will remove curses that are on your items, but say you step on a cursed trap or an enemy tries to curse you, this will occasionally just prevent it from taking effect. I think I'm going to choose Scavenger right now, though. Slightly higher item quality at gathering spots. We're going to be gathering all the time, so we're going to level that up. Uh, the more feats you gain, the more points it takes to unlock the next feat, so it does slow down quite significantly at some point. Get rid of all these. I said, get rid of all these plants. I don't want to pick up the light. I didn't, didn't even see it. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. You got two items on this tile, and I have no idea how to, unless I equip a tool, I guess. Uh, I have no idea how to interact with things underneath it. I think there's a button you can press, but I haven't found it. Okay, collect some more crap. All these bones. I think what we're going to do here in a minute is go on another adventure. So we have three days until taxes are due. I'm loaded down with money right now. Loaded down with food. We're, we're doing good, folks. Grass branches... We're not starving. Should eat. We're not broke. Come on. Eat it. Levels up my will. So cactus is good for your willpower. Must be one of those hidden... Those hidden traits that you can't see unless you get the gourmand trait. Historic cave. Danger level 11. No. I didn't even see you there, Yeek. We get ambushed. Give me paralysis. No. That is my potion of paralysis. I've fought long and hard for it. Traversed through terrible dungeons. I'm not giving up anything. Come back. Hey, another basalt stone. Cool. 
Hopper. Another Appy. So we need that. Yoink. Never have enough Appy Seeds. Say so maybe maybe what we'll do is we'll have a farm that is also a slight bed and breakfast with a small little tavern. We'll grow food we'll grow our own food and stuff, sell it, cook it, and then have our own little wine production. Wine and ale and stuff. We're, we're gonna have a nice little town by the time it's all said and done with. Got goblins and orcs. I guess this right here with the enemies appearing on the overworld. Uh, again, would be really good if you have a quest where you need to go kill 11 of something. Like, if, if I had to go hunt down 20 orcs and I saw this, I would make a beeline to it rather than trying to hunt down 20 orcs individually in dungeons and stuff, which could take quite a while. Because you have no idea what you're going to actually run into. Oh, uh, what do we got? A wheel. So... We learned how to make a table lamp. Cool. Another item that most likely requires electricity. There's the way down already. Say, I'm half tempted to make a beeline straight down as low as we can go. And just try and clear the boss out. I want that boss loot. I want my platinum coins. I want my recipes. Excuse me, petite. You know, for being, for being so weak, they are definitely... Brave, I'll give them that. They fear no man or beast. On the way out, we might hit that Shrine of Strife and just see what it does. See how bad it tries to screw me over. Yeah, we, we fight from the stairs when possible. So what did we get? A piece of paper. That's, that's valuable. I didn't really want to... I didn't really want to do that, but hey... Shortcut. Two eyes. Um, a stupid cobweb. That cobweb dropped out of a school at some point. Fancy robes. What are they? Straw robes. Not that fancy. You want to look like a scarecrow. Put these straw robes on. Another floor. I was hoping that it would just be two floors deep, but we're not going to be that lucky today. Hey, Big Daddy. Don't mind us. We're just passing through. So, another... I'm going to end up with a ton of water bottles. Huh. Get in here, guys. I know you all have ranged attacks. Well, that can't be the boss. Ultra Vision, Troll Blood. Troll Blood is regeneration. Cursed Pot of Water. Hmm. <laughs> and I, it's been four videos, and I still have not crafted bandages. Uh, this game does have a note system. Come on, game. I don't... I don't want to move when I click. No, we're just going to leave it there. I was going to say, I need, maybe I should leave a note for myself that says, Craft Bandages. The other alternative is I go grab my post-it notes and start putting them on the side of my screen. Grab that. Never underestimate the power of sticky notes. Yeah, I'm not going to try and disable that. Acid traps permanently destroy... Well, not permanently, but... Unless you find a way to... An enchantment scroll or something, it lowers your... The quality of your gear. A royal cobweb. When we destroy that, we learn how to make another poster. We're just gonna be king poster. By the time we're done learning. Our character's not really interested in learning anything else. He wants his bedroom walls to be adorned... With all types of gaudy posters. 
that's what we call shortcut. We make our own path here. We're trailblazers. Say, so this should be a room. Another shrine. Oh, hemp hammer. Is there anything I want to turn into hemp? I mean, no, not really. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's just hemp. If it was diamond or something, yeah, sure, I'd be, I'd be excited. So you can take the torches down from the wall too. Here's the boss. It's a crab. So, a cursed acid-proof liquid. Let's grab it and just throw it. I don't think it does anything, but may maybe I made the crab acid-proof. But it was cursed, so is that a negative? Like, instead of making you acid proof, it actually makes you susceptible to it. So we got stone hand axe, 2d6 boomerang, platinum coin, recipe for a modern chair, a book of travel, and a kettle made of iron. Huh. I'm overweight. Well... I don't need another goblin figure. I do need the stones, so... We'll keep that. Some opal gems. We're gonna poke around just a little bit. Scale robe. Scale robes are nice. Scale stuff does not burn. It's fireproof. Say, so that would be something you need. If you're going to be fighting those fire-casting enemies like Hellhounds and Red Bishops. I'm really curious, though. I don't, I don't need that. A junk stone made of basalt. A figure of a crab. Eh, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that, too. I'm not really focused on statues, and they weigh eight stones each. A silver longsword. There we go. Oh, hey, spider. First time we've seen one of you, I feel like. Maybe maybe the second. Don't die, Poppy. Hang in there. If, you're ma if my mount dies, then I have to carry an unconscious puppy through here. It's going to mess with my speed even more. Oh, excuse me? He's gonna shoot me through the corner like that? I need to get rid of the spider first. Ignore the crab. Or the hermit crab. Say, I'm more worried about the public performer here. Uh, and now I'm more worried about the eye because of paralysis. So, Public performers throw stuff, which can be absolutely brutal because I think throwing has a higher chance of bypassing your defenses well who are you you're not the boss we've already killed him cursed pot of water weakness I'm just gonna throw this at this goblin we'll make him a little bit weaker so I just I wanted to delete him here we rip his heart out rest in peace dude he drops us a ripped scroll that is a brand new item we have never seen before. You know what? Collect that. A ripped scroll. Okay. Paralysis trap. Let's see if I can disarm it. Hey, we did. We successfully disarmed it. You want to... Uh, again, this is just all my opinion, but... You want to level up all of these skills as early as you can. Because by the time you start getting into really hard dungeons, failing to disarm a trap could probably be pretty brutal. Please don't kill me, kobold. Kobolds don't have much health, but... They hit like a truck. We got the high ground. If you ever have the chance to have the high ground, jump on a pedestal jump on top of an altar Ooh, a zombie quick sneak up on him while he's asleep 
Enemies that are asleep, you cannot miss as far as I know. It's like a guaranteed hit. Yay, my appraisal skill went up. Only 15 more levels to go before I can ID good items. Wooden bejeweled amulet. We're gonna have like 10 minutes of inventory management when I get back to base. Sorting through all this stuff. Anybody else in here? I know there's at least one of you somewhere. And we're not done yet. What is this? Ink trap? We fell and go blind. This is a brutal trap. Once you start getting surrounded by harder enemies, step on one of those and go blind and you'll probably be dead. Before you can see again. Another tough enemy. This is the first time I've seen three glowing ones on one floor. I'm almost out of inventory space. Can you believe it, folks? Me? Running out of inventory space? It's preposterous. I don't have any more items I can use. Excuse me. Did you leave me your corpse? What did you steal? Nothing. I'm assuming that the game log tells you every time a gnome actually steals something. A runic scroll is identified. I mean, I really do just want to kill the gnome out of principle at this point. Just because. <laughs> a nine-year-old infantryman down here. Good luck, buddy. What was that? Another gnome. Loidal just completely eviscerated them in the blink of an eye. Loidal don't mess around. He's seen some stuff in his days. Hello, spider. Uh. Rip our way free from the web. They thought they could contain me. No. We're, we're a little bit too much of a badass at this point for a puny little spider to stop me. It's okay, it's okay to be cocky. What's the worst that can happen? You, you die and lose half of your money and a bunch of skills and you become cripple. Have to go see a healer. That's, that's nothing. Shortcut. Let's get out of here. Bear cub found a sleeping trap. Oh yeah, hang on. I wanted to test this thing. So what do we get? A, a leveled, jacked up yeek on the high ground. So I'm gonna go for the ranged enemy, or the, the distant enemies. Kill them. Okay, I want... I don't want to eat it. Um, do I have any corpses that are human? You know what, let's eat that. Pick up... I, I don't want to... Pick up everything, I just... I want to pick up the card. Where did that even go? Don't need that. There we go. I think that's it. Okay. Weightlifting 7. Don't be afraid to run around burdened, folks. You're gonna have to level that skill up at some point anyways. Oh my god, this is all the crap I have to keep. I have to sort on my own. Okay, um... Before I do that, let's... Let's read all these books. Yay, travel skill... Level 6. The book falls apart as soon as we decipher it. Bonk. I'm still just waiting for the day that I read a book and it summons a gi gigantic evil demon that I can't actually beat. 
I'm curious what this ripped scroll is because I've not been able to identify it so far. And this scale robe is a miracle level robe. Holy crap. Mm, what do we got? Straw girdle. Sell that. Garbage. All this is garbage. I need to give the beer to the duck. Duck, where are you? Don't tell me you've already left. Or you've been killed. It's a goose, my bad. I'm sorry, goose. Goose and ducks, I mean... It's an easy mistake to make. And I'm making it better by giving you beer. The silver longsword is 2d7. Grant says, darkness resistance. It's fireproof and acid proof. I might give that to one of my companions. I can sell that. Read my nerve arrow book. In fact, Goose, what are you up to? Only 29? I'm going to assume that your charisma has something to do with the amount of Like gain that you get whenever you gift people items. Low charisma, like mine, relatively, probably not very good. Maybe negotiation has something to do with it, too. I can't imagine that it's it's that low all the time. Spellbook of Hero. Because that means you will have to gift people a whole lot of stuff. In order to get them even remotely close to move in with you. Potion of salt water. Fine wisdom. I think most of this I'm keeping. This is my keep chest. My combat chest. Potions, scrolls, wands. Okay, let's go sell a bunch of crap. Get it out of here. Don't need the hearts. Keep those. Don't need the hat. Test gonna cook you. Can't actually apply that here yet. Blessed scroll of summon shadow. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that one. I mean, I've already got six summon shadow scrolls. Cook you. Cook you. Troll blood is worth keeping. More ale. You know what? I'm just gonna move that there. Yeast. I don't want to deal with se uh, seasoning drawer yet. Like, I need to build a box that is for nothing but seasonings, because there's a ton of them. Sell you. I think I can sell that boomerang. I need to move all of the stuff. Yeah, get all of the stuff that I need to ID together. Goodbye, kettle. Goodbye, boomerang. Goodbye, small stone shield and cobalt gem and... Potion of Weakness goes there. Potion of Hero is useful. Girdle gone. Necklaces. Holy Light. Beth Poutit. Junk Stone. Sesame. Magic Map. Keep the rest of this. Potion of Saltwater. Get rid of you. Granite Pebbles be gone. And one last book. I think I need to move this here oh when you pick up an item the timer stops moving okay you stop reading at that point scroll of a curse keep you there I, I need a box that is for nothing but equipment so I can put stuff like this in the sword in it I really don't want to craft any more boxes until I can smelt down or into bars, and then I can craft one that is almost double the storage size of these. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with like 20 of these boxes. Get all of our cooking done. Uh, let's see. Collect you. Eat the tomato. Eat you. And hey, our strength increases. It's important to stay fed, folks. Just, just, don't, don't eat till you puke. Don't be a glutton. It's perfectly, perfectly okay to be a gourmand, but not a glutton. So 
uh, nothing in there was really worth very much. We learn how to make another poster. Excuse me, Goblin. My eyes were closed when I was moving out of there because I was laughing at learning how to make a yet another poster. At a workbench I don't even have yet, most likely. So what do you got? Beth Petite. Come on, give me some skill gain. Now we're bloated. Uh, goose, you silly drunk goose. It almost looks like a golden goose. Gift you. Gift you. So what are we up to now? 36 affinity. I keep wanting to call it influence in my mind. It most certainly is not influence. So, who can I hire now? Tion, the younger sister. Good at gardening and drinking. I mean, I do need more gardeners, and there are only four. Yep. Why are you people so eager? Why are you people so eager to interfere? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who came to me on my board. So I'm not sure what you think anyone's interfering for. Put that in there. Put that in there. So, you know, I, I'm going to take the cursed pot of water. I'm just going to sell that. Sell that, sell that, sell that. Junk stone. Let's plant these seeds, too. This base is slowly coming along. I say, you, you, you can focus and rush things. Like, you could just go out there and spend all your time trying to get all the seeds and get your farm set up. I, I tend to bounce around a lot on what I'm doing. Crab on the bone. Okay. Sell you, sell you, sell you, sell you. We need to go get this stuff. Uh, identified but I think we're gonna wait I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of training here I, I told you these gallows and some other torture devices are good for training your companions if you left click on restrain you'll hang yourself and I'm gonna I'm just gonna take my hands off set back and see what happens your health can get to zero but I don't think you should let your stamina get to zero. I think that's when you die. Okay, you know what? That's good enough. That's that's close enough. Close enough. Uh, there's probably a better way to train your companions to. Maybe if you give them just crappy weapons, take away all their good stuff. Trade them wooden cursed grass weapons or something that do no damage and just let them sit there and wail on you. Let's see, what do I want to eat? Crab. I want something that's going to level up my charisma. Poutit. More charisma means better music. Also means more companions. I, I, I kind of consider this a a JRPG, and we build our party. We've got Sugas, who is kind of a tank and healer. I think they can cast some type of small healing spell I see every once in a while. Our bear cub is DPS. Loidal, I'm going to say, is probably DPS. I really need some type of tank that can taunt. So that might be something I have to look into soon. Cursed Fertilizer. Yeah, I'm not going to use any of my fertilizers yet. Instruments and chores. Yeah, we don't need a bard, okay? I'm the only bard that we need. Now, my question is, where is... I'm just going to hang myself again and let them train on me. I was going to say, where's my tax bill? Did I oversleep and miss miss it? No. It doesn't work like that. Light armor 5. Hell yeah. Riding went up to 9. My speed is up to 85. 
Slowly but surely. Shield level two. It's a it's a fairly safe way to level your skills and level your companions up. Safer by far than going to a dungeon. And we have a tax bill of seven hundred and twenty orns. Let's go pay that. And before we go there, where are my tickets? Or my my one single ticket. My furniture ticket. Poppy, weightlifting 12. Hey, a treasure chest. Sweet. We get two gold bars. There's paper scrap, not gonna take it. An old tome and a hemp robe. We just run past the petite. Nobody thought it was worth their time. And quite frankly, I'm... I'm gonna have to agree with them. So, pay that. Now, let's check the quests. Yeah, let's go do this one. Say, I need influence, I need furniture tickets. Oh my goodness. Okay, ignore the bat. Since it wants to dodge 90% of our attacks. Abs it's, it's disgusting. How high the evasion is on some of these things. Look, I want to pick up this meat. There we go. So. I do a, lo do a loop around this. Yoink. We get two seeds. Come on, treasure chest. Plump needs some more recipes. What do we get? Strange gold coin and a platinum coin. We're up to 10 platinum coins now. It's not bad. And they want pasta salad. Well, you're, you're not going to get it. Just not going to get it. Show me your wares. So I've got four influence, which means I can buy four of these. Can I just right click on them? I'm going to spend all my influence on it. So now we have five furniture tickets. What you do with these, right click on them. And it shows you how many tickets it needs. You need to buy it. I could buy the table for one ticket, the torch for one ticket. Okay, I just want to explain. Right click on these, get them in your hand, and then right click on what you want to buy. If there's multiple items there, it will pull this up and just make sure you choose the right one. We want the tax chest. But... I want to say, I also want to buy the Illumination. But I think I can't afford it, so... Because I need two tickets for that, huh? I really need one more influence. Pasta salad. I doubt either of these guys have any pasta salad for sale. Happy Nut Cream Puff, that sounds good. Soft and fluffy protein breads. Curious where you got the protein from. Knowing this game, hmm. I'd be hesitant. Watermelon. Now, there is one more shop here. This lady is a witch. Uh, her food, I believe, can have traits that, are, that have poison and things like that in them. So, if you're not a gourmand... Be very careful buying stuff from her. She also sells Spellbook of Brumification. It is always there in her inventory, and I have no idea what it does. No idea at all. Because I've never been willing to spend that many credits on it. So what do you got for sale? Earthquake. Spellbook of Speed. Damn, that's expensive. Resurrection. Summon Shadow. Cat's Eye. That might be useful. I don't really buy any of this stuff because if I want it, I'm just I'll just go dive into a dungeon. See what I can find. These are the blankets I'm talking about. Fireproof pr fireproof blankets and cold proof blankets. If you don't have those around the time you get to danger level 15, you're really living dangerously. What do you what? Excuse me? The town does not have enough power to power their gotcha machine. I can't use it. That's it's kind of funny. 
So let me see something. My fame is 113. There's also slot machines. What? I say, why is this town having power problems? If you have coins that you can get through various ways, you can come play slots. I don't have any coins, unfortunately. Former. Uh, I want to go see the skill trainer. Just because I'm curious. Like, I feel like I should put some points into longsword. Just raise my potential so that longsword raises quicker. Because it's only at two... It's only 2.29 after all of this fighting. I'm going to put five points in... Or five coins into it. My potential is 150. A book. I'll have to keep my eye on that. Because I think your potential goes down over time as you level the skill which means you need to keep going back and putting uh coins into it so what did what did we get this time we got a lucky cat made of mithril cool we'll put it with our golden lucky cat and i want to check the furniture store before we head back what do you got paint chair poster plant pots wind chime a blessed loot Interesting. Guitar. Cabinet. A guillotine. Hell yeah. An iron mic. I think I'm going to buy the iron mic. I can carry it around and perform with it. And at the same time, I can use it as a weapon. It can replace my boomerang. Okay. Do one last check here. No. Look, you're not who I want to talk to. Where's the guy who sells the scrolls? I'm not interested in tail right now. Especially not from that person. The healer, heal me, please. Just in case. Yeah, I think that's it. There's a, a hot guy in here. He is pretty much always here, as far as I can tell. I say maybe the guy that he's based on usually hang like maybe he had a music video or something that was set inside a crypt. Uh, there's an orphanage here. We're not gonna go check out really any other place just yet. <laughs> Cows? No. I'm not afraid of a bunch of goblins, but I'm. I bet a herd of cattle would just kill me. A group of mercenaries? Yeah. That'll probably kill me too going to be realistic about things. But hey, we can pay our taxes from home now. So, uh, let's just place this right here inside. Or not, because it's not centered. I don't like that. I need to expand my base. And there you go. That's how you get the ch tax chest so you can do it all at home. I don't have to waste two days, three days, four days, six days running to Mycelia and coming back. gonna be the appy nut king by the time we're done here get my cooking on and let's see i think that's it eat some puppy meat mm -mm -mm. so good fresh delicious puppy the 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 dog knew what we were doing poppy did and he kind of yelped at us that's what i'm going with Oh, and I forgot I forgot to identify my stuff while I was there. See, I get I get distracted. So easy. Voynich. It says it has five charges, but it's a total lie. Sell that, sell that. Uh, I think I'm gonna place my lucky cat. It can go on this workbench. Let's see if I can move it kinda to the side. There we go. Let's get let's get the other lucky one out. Mm 
can I where can I place that one? No, we'll we'll place it on the draft table here. And I'll I'll, I'll rotate it so they're almost mirroring each other. Those are our two lucky cats. With those lucky cats here, our rolls will always be good. We won't be invaded by aliens and other tough enemies that want to kick my butt. This place will be safe. Can I harvest you? Yep. Yeah. Two seeds. Two more abbeys. I need to find out where all of this stuff is going. Like, I did set this up. If I'm not mistaken. Priority 10, food, drink. Now my question is... Okay, I want all the food, I want all the drinks, but... Uh, put seeds in there too, I guess. Put flora in there. Put fertilizer in there. I believe that is all. Okay. I'm really starting to get confused as to why I don't have any... Vegetables ready for harvest yet. Roasted fruit. Yeah, no appy nuts, no berries. Say, if I had them, I would be able to cook at the fire with them right there. Either way, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Whenever we come back, I don't know. Either way, see you then, folks.